Good morning guys and welcome to December 5th. It is vlog with Sinead 5. It is actually a lot earlier than I usually wake up in the morning. So I think it's about like 8.55 right now. We're actually running really late because we have an event to go to that starts at 9. And it's all the way in the other side of the city. So we're going to have to book out of here in a few minutes. But I want to touch base with you guys um, and to check in today. Just because I'm going to be doing a vlog version today. And today's vlog is actually going to be kind of like a live version. Probably the most up-to-date vlog that you've seen thus far on vlogmas just because the other ones have been mostly filmed a couple of days in advance but today i'm going to be showing you what i'm doing today and then you guys will probably get to see it tomorrow so that's probably as quick as i've ever filmed a vlog in a while but it's exciting because we're going to be doing some fun things today like i said we have an event this morning with david's tea and then after we come home today peter and i are going to be going to the gym and then in this afternoon i have computer work as always and then i am going to open some packages with you guys today so i'm not quite sure actually if I want to open the packages on the vlog or if I want to do it for tomorrow's vlog. So we'll see if I actually even get time to get to these packages today because I have so much stuff to edit. We are going to be spending the weekend up north a little bit with Mel and Dave because they get back today from Amsterdam and we're taking the Volvo out to do a fun little day trip to do some winter activities. We found this really cool winter village that was about an hour outside of Ottawa which we wanted to go to originally until we realized how far it was and then we're like, mm, I don't think we'll be able to make that day trip. So instead we're doing something up north of Toronto a little bit. We may be chopping out some Christmas trees. Hint. <laughs> but you guys will have to stay tuned to see what happens on this weekend's vlog. But I want to show you guys today's outfit before I head out. My place is a huge huge mess right now primarily because i'm currently in the process of cleaning purging decluttering stuff um bringing things back home for the holidays to give away to my friends and family so please excuse the mess but here's today's outfit okay so i'm going to try to show you as best as i can without getting a lot of junk in in the front here i have bags and boxes that need to be organized so please ignore that first things first i am wearing this really cute headband that i picked up from hudson's bay oh yeah i also want you to know i'm doing like a no makeup week this week just because i felt like i was wearing so much makeup when i was in copenhagen and stockholm my skin got so congested that i just want to free it all and have good skin so i am just wearing this little headband that i got from hudson's bay i actually got a lot of questions about this one throughout the week as i was going to a couple events so i'm going to link a bunch of options down below unfortunately i believe it's sold out on hudson's bay online right now but if you want to pop in in store and check it out in person you can i think the brand is called atero atero or something like that so just check their accessories collection and you probably will be able to find it it was about $18 and when I bought it it was like a buy one get one free so I got this and another headband so this essentially came out to be like nine bucks after taxes ish but it is the most cutest headband I need to stop seeing cute I was editing my body shop video yesterday and as I was editing it I realized how many times I screamed and said cute and you guys must find me really freaking annoying so I'm gonna stop saying that I will try to make a conscious effort to say it less. But yes, this is an adorable headband. See, new word trying to use in there. Call me the source Vic. <laughs> I have seen this headband a lot um, online. I think Zara does a gold version right now. ASOS has a bunch of different versions as well. So I'll link all my favorite ones down below in the description bar. If you guys also want to pick one up, I think it's going to be great for the holidays. It's a really cute accessory. You jump onto that like headband trend, but it has a more kind of like formal look to it because it's pearl. So love that. Necklaces. I haven't really switched up my necklace stack in a long time, guys. And I hope you can see it. I just have this chain that I always wear. This is from Majuri. This is one that I got from Estee Lauder. And then this is just like a pendant that I got from Wanderlust & Co. Layer them all together. I like it particularly with V-necks because it kind of really accentuates the V. And then this is a sweater that I think it's from Derek Lamb Crosby. I picked it up last year from Saks Off Fifth, I guess. It was on sale down to 50 bucks during their huge designer sale. So I was like, why not? It's super cute. Oh, God. See, there I am again with cute. It is very comfortable and chic. <laughs> I just really like the chevron pattern just because it comes down to the front and I feel like this really elongates the torso I also primarily loved it because of the thick sleeves like look how thick these sleeves are They're super cozy especially this time of the year I feel like I'm all bundled up in like a giant knit hug, which is great And it's a mustard color, which is actually really trendy right now for some reason I guess I had the foresight of buying it last year when it wasn't as trendy back then and then for the bottoms I'm not going to show you guys this with the garbage in the way. I am wearing my commando leggings. These are the PVC, PUC. I don't know, guys. I got in so much shit and comments from people who were like, that's not latex. Like, you don't know what latex is on my last video when I was styling them. So I stand corrected. These are not latex leggings. They're PVC, PU, whatever. But they have this, like, really shiny coat on them. Kind of looks like patent, and I love them. They're not leather, so it's not patent leather as well. And then for shoes, I'm just going to show you guys like this. I got these brand new shoes while I was in Copenhagen from the Acne Archives. They're these really cool combat 
kind of chunky boots. You can tie them up in the front on these hooks here, but I find that these usually fall apart as I'm walking around in them, so I don't want my shoes to come untied and the laces get dirty and to fall in the slush in the snow. So they actually wrap them around the ankle like this, and I feel like this gives it a little bit more of an accentuation on the ankle. I don't know. I find that the contrast between the black and the white, especially with the stitching here, it's really nice. And it also pulls the other pearl headband back down to the bottom here. So these are the shoes. Bag, I don't think I'm gonna wear a bag today. Probably not. If I do, I'll show you in another clip, but this is essentially my outfit of the day. Let's show you this. <laughs> So that's my look for the day. We are now headed out to the event. I will catch up with you guys there. It is a snowing. I hope you guys can see what's not anticipating that. We are here. That is the Broadview Hotel. And that's where we're going for the David C event. Making candles now. Uh, we actually just made candles about two days ago. Did you actually? Yeah, yeah we did. <laughs> All you gotta do is grab a picture, pour it directly yeah. into the uh, thing. I Currently, a knot in the nice clothes that I was earlier. We changed into our gym clothes, and Peter and I are actually now headed off to the gym to do a quick workout, a good life. I'm gonna do a cardio day today. I'm gonna be spending a little bit of time on the Stairmaster, and Peter is going to be running or biking today. Can you just answer the question are you running or biking today? Okay, well, I'm not bringing the camera with me to the gym, so you guys aren't gonna find I'm out running. afterwards. Ridiculous. So, we're gonna do the gym and then come back home and cook a little bit of food, and then I think. That's when I'm gonna do my unboxings. I just took a little bit of a rest earlier and submitted some content because I had some stuff that was due. And now it's time to work out. Bobby well, we always gets the saddest when we leave because he just like stands there and watches us as we're ready to go. I'm sorry, buddy. We'll be back soon. And I'll play with you. I'll take you out for a walk later, okay? Okay? Be a good boy right now and stay home and watch the place. Love you. So we're back from the gym now and we picked up some food along the way from, I don't even know what this place is called. Do you remember? Liberty Village Rotisserie. We got chicken, I got uh, dark meat, Peter also got dark meat, and I also got Greek fries with coleslaw. Peter got his with steamed veggies and yeah. something else. So we're eating this as our post-lunch, post, yeah, it is actually a post-lunch uh, workout. It is 4.39, wow, that's really bright. It's 4.39 right now, so this is a really late lunch for us considering the fact that we actually had a really early breakfast this morning, surprisingly, since we went out to the event. Don't see my fries. Are you gonna eat me one of your potatoes? You can have a carrot. Rude, I don't want carrot. Anyways, we're gonna eat lunch right now. We're gonna watch actually Lady in the Tramp while we're eating. I am very excited to watch this one because we just got Disney Plus recently on Black Friday because there was a sale on Rakuten. I think it was like $12 off or something like that for the annual membership. $12.50. $12.50, which is pretty good. Yeah. And I think the annual membership already saves you like two months worth of bills yeah. or something like that so now we essentially save up to like three three and a half months not bad if i do say so myself so we're gonna be watching lady the tramp yesterday we literally killed an hour and a half by watching sleeping beauty no, no. beauty and the beast no. beauty and the beast and much now, better movie my, no i no. beg to differ sleeping no, beauty, beauty is my beast favorite mm -mm. comment tell me beauty and the beast is better do not comment that or else it's better but we're gonna be watching Lady and the Tramp, the live action version right now, and everybody told me that they have loved it. Well, everybody who's seen it so far has loved it, so I'm very excited and I have very high hopes for this. And then, I promise, then after we're finished eating, I will do the unboxing for you guys. Time to watch the movie. We'll see you guys in a little bit once the movie's done. All right guys, so many hours later, I have finished eating lunch. I took like a two hour nap. We also walked the dog. Now it's finally time to open some packages with you guys. I have a ton of things in my living room right now. Let me just show you all these things that I've kind of accumulated over the past month because I was traveling and I was busy and I wasn't able to open them. So I want to open them with you guys today. Can I show you what I have? First things first, 
super exciting Ta -da! is this package from McDonald's. McDonald's is actually celebrating 40 years of Happy Meals. They brought together some of the most iconic Happy Meals ever and it's kind of cool because you open it up like this. How neat is that? So I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what I have inside. I actually really love this packaging because it's like a giant Happy Meal box <laughs> and it is the cutest. Obviously, I am not a kid anymore, so I probably won't be keeping all these Happy Meal toys. I might actually be giving them to some of our friends' kids because I have a lot of friends with children and I think that they can put these to better use than I can, but I still do very much appreciate these. So when you open it up, it looks like this. I am very curious to see what's inside. Some of my favorite Happy Meals as a kid were Beanie Babies. I think Crazy Bones we got them in this as well? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out how to open these. This one has two pieces, so I'll open this up. So I'm gonna open this one up first. Da, 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 da. Let's see what's inside. I probably won't open all of them on camera just because there's a lot. This is a toy from 1988. I was not alive then, guys. I was born in 1991. So this is, I don't understand what this is. It's like a little Mr. Potato Head situation. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Look at this. And he has a hat like this. Yes, this, it doesn't even stay on, but that's cute. This is from 1988. I'm actually gonna find a toy that opened up in the year when I was born. Hopefully, let's see if I can find one. This was 1988, 95, 88, 1990. We're close, 1990. I'm gonna take out all the 98, like all the 90s, because let's just open those ones since I was alive during that time and I probably was a kid going to McDonald's for food. So I'm gonna press these because I wanna open up a Beanie Baby. Yeah, I think there's one Beanie Baby. This is the squishiest one. So this is from 1995. Any guesses as to what it is? Do you guys remember collecting Beanie Babies? Those, that was like all the rage. Oh, it's the platypus guy. I had this one. I had this one, guys. Look how cute he is. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna save this for somebody else to open because I feel like as nostalgic as this is and as sweet as it is, I don't want to take away the process of opening it up for somebody. And I I love it. This is so cute. And McDonald's does amazing things for children. So I want to be able to pass this on to somebody else so that they can also open up a McDonald's surprise happy meal. Nostalgic vintage happy meal for themselves. So this is gonna go away. And I'm gonna give this to somebody else. Probably one of Peter's friends that has kids. There's a lot in here. Like look, they can have a lot of fun opening this. So just found out that apparently all these toys are going to be available as Happy Meal toys this year because we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of Happy Meal toys. So these ones, you guys cannot buy this massive box just in case you're curious. But I think if you go in and purchase a Happy Meal, one of those type of toys will be in your Happy Meal, a nostalgic um, throwback. So yeah, that's how you can get your hands on one. Okay, next thing we're going to be opening up is an Oreos package. I actually got this a while ago because I don't know if Oreo does this every year, but they released a mystery Oreo. I'm gonna let you guys know, I uh, kind of preemptively opened it already and ate a pack when we were going back to Ottawa a few weeks ago, just because I needed snacks on the road. But this is a mystery Oreo flavor that just got released and I guessed wrong, I'm gonna tell you guys. They sent it to us and told us to guess which one we think it is and to submit it online. I didn't get a chance to and I found out this week what the actual flavor was. So the clues that they gave us, its name, its stole and history kept, perhaps from a creature that lives on the step and there's a picture of a goat. I don't know what that means. And it said, often paired with chocolate, hence why we chose it. We'll keep the suspense till everyone knows it. I actually didn't read this piece of paper before I guessed and had I read it, the answer that I originally chosen wouldn't have matched with this. I probably should have read this first. And then clue number three is history is divided on how they came to exist. A shepherd, a sailor, there's no easy fix. That means nothing to me, so I have no idea, guys. So this is what the mystery Oreo flavor looks like. It's white like this. When I first ate it, it had very spice flavors, so I thought it was s'more, to be very honest, because s'mores, graham crackers, sometimes like ginger crackers. You put it together and it has that like spicy taste. Peter tried it and Rosa also tried it. Kobe wants it, seriously right now. And they all thought that it was gingerbread, which kind of makes sense because they were releasing this mystery flavor during the holiday time or like close to the holidays. Turns out all of us were wrong. I actually found out recently. What is your arm on my boobs? I just found out recently that the flavor is actually churros. So if you guys can get your hands on the new mystery flavor, I don't know if it still looks like this when it's being sold or if it's been repackaged to have churros in it. Try it. It's churros, guys. And now that I know the flavor, I can I can see where it came from and it makes a lot of sense to me. But yeah, churros it is for the mystery flavor. I'm gonna munch on one now because I haven't had dinner yet and I'm really hungry. <laughs> you guys guessed it from the clues they gave us, bravo. 
I was not able to, so. All right, next up is this fun holiday gift set from Karastas. This is actually a really pretty box, which I think I may use after somebody else's gift in after, because it looks pretty. I mean, if you don't know that it says Karastas, I just have to hold on it. Look at all that foil. So this is um, a holiday gift set for intensely nourished hair, and it comes with a wash, a milk, and like a thermal syrup. Serum. I actually really like hair sauce products. They're quite pricey, but they do a really good job I've tried this line before and I do find that it's really nourishing I have extremely like dry color treated hair. So anytime I see nourishing products. I'm like, yes, give it to me My hair is gonna soak up all the moisture in this and it's gonna love it So I'm actually gonna be gifting this set to somebody else that has damaged hair for the Christmas So I'm not gonna mention who it is, but they'll find out closer to Christmas time But if you guys are looking for holiday gift sets, Kerstos always does like a really nice job of packaging them together So you don't have to think about repackaging, you just like wrap it up and give it to go And I actually think that this year, what I'm gonna try to do is do um like a no recycle Christmas type of situation where I'm not gonna purchase any new wrapping paper and I'm only gonna reuse old wrapping paper that I have pre-existing or other products that I can wrap around it like a tea towel or like a sweater or put into a gift bag just because I read somewhere that like Canada produces 500 some metric tons of literally just wrapping paper every holidays which is going straight to a cycle of garbage and this is paper that only gets one life and its purpose is just to wrap a present and then it gets around. So I'm gonna try to do a reduced waste Christmas this year with my family and that's what I'm gonna do. Next up is a cute little package from my friends over at Roots. I did a campaign with them, I think it was earlier this year. If you guys are Canadian, then you're probably really, really familiar with Roots. I literally grew up with this brand and I love their product. They sent over really kindly a pair of their cabin socks and also the iconic red stripe on their cabin sweater as well. See if I can show this to you guys. It looks so cozy and warm for the holidays. I'm 100% going to be wearing this and also it has a turtleneck. How amazing is that? Oh, I love a good knit sweater. You guys know me already if you've been watching my vlogs and my YouTube channel for a long time that I'm a sucker for sweaters and every year I tell myself I'm not gonna buy more and for some reason I end up with more. I'm just gonna chalk this up to I didn't buy this one, I was gifted it, so it's okay. But, cool fact, did you know that Roots as a company was started by two friends in Algonquin Park camping outdoors? Yes, love. And knit sweaters? All together love as well so I'm gonna be rocking this sweater out probably for the holidays because it's nice and cozy and warm and I don't want to get cold if you guys are looking for holiday gift ideas actually and you want something that's relatively budget friendly I highly highly recommend these cabin socks I have like three to four pairs already and I never cease to ask for more every season just because they're so warm snuggly this is a pack of two they're 1850 which is not a bad value these aren't socks that are gonna rip holes in easily I actually really like to pair these socks over top of ankle socks to give myself extra layer of insulation but not too thick or else your shoes won't fit over your socks because you're wearing two layers which is why ankle socks because usually they're pretty thin but then also really cute when you have boots that aren't super high up this peeks up over the top of the boot a little bit like the little cuff here and just it looks so Canadian but also so cozy and cute and why not it's a cute red stripe it's that's it's like an extra accessory for your shoes so highly recommend this one go check it out if you guys also love the cabin collection or you know somebody who's a fan of the cabin collection add to the collection you can never have enough I'm actually surprisingly this was not planned wearing a full roots outfit right now I have this crew neck sweater I know it's not crew neck a boat neck sweater on the comfiest sweater of life I wear this all the time around the house it is so stretchy and soft and like oh like a giant hug in your arms underneath and then I also have on the salt and pepper Sweatpants, these ones have like a cuff at the bottom as opposed to elastic at the bottom. I have been wearing Roots sweatpants literally since like middle school. I used to work in a pool as a lifeguard when I was younger and these sweatpants are what I lived in like 24 seven. I kid you not, I literally woke up with them, put them on, went to work, did my job. When I was off shift and having breaks, I would throw them on over my swimsuits and then I would go to school with them on. The best pants ever. I think I have like three or four pairs already and I am never ashamed to say that I love adding more to the collection because they're just so comfortable. They're so versatile, so comfortable. I can throw them over anything. This is not sponsored. I just, I freaking love Roots and I've grown up with them so it's fun to share the Roots love. The Nessa unboxing is actually from a brand I'm a huge fan of as well. Also surprisingly a brand that I've been a fan of since like middle school, high school and it is Chloe. No, it is not a bag. Sadly, I do wish I got a bag from them. I love their stuff. But they did send over a brand new fragrance in their collection. And if you guys don't know me, I love anything floral. Chloe is actually one of my most favorite fragrances that I started using when I was in high school besides Marc Jacob Daisy. So I'm really excited to add this brand new into my collection. It's called Chloe Low. And I believe this is supposed to be a lighter version of the regular Chloe perfume. I have right now, I'm literally looking at my shelf, probably four bottles of Chloe perfume. 
because I can never have enough of it. It just smells so good. Like one spritz just fills the air with like aromatic scents of florals. Sweetness, not too sweet though because I'm not a fan of super sweet things. It's just, it's perfect and this bottle's so cute. It's gonna match perfectly with my collection. The cap here is silver, I believe, whereas the existing bottles were usually gold. Oh, I love it. It's much lighter and fresher, so if you're not somebody who likes like a super sweet deep scent, this is definitely one that's gonna work for you. Oh, so beautiful. One thing I want to note, they sent over the most cutest package ever. Oh, I need to stop saying cute. I'm sorry, guys. It is literally, this is like an art portfolio. How cool is this? And then when you open it up inside, I'm going to show you guys because it's really, really nice. I actually kind of want to frame these. They sent over a bunch of different prints. It looks like this, like somebody's art portfolio. And there's a bunch of watercolor prints. I don't think this is me just because I saw some of my other friends in boxes and they had the same print as well. But it's really pretty and has my name on it. There's a bunch of different ones with like how the girls draw on it. This is so pretty. I love this one. I really actually want to frame this one and put it up on a wall somewhere because I think it's beautiful. Fashion speaks to me so much. And then there's also a watercolor print of the bottle itself. And then one more of, I guess, flowers that the scent was inspired upon. That's a really beautiful kind of like art portfolio. I'm actually gonna keep this one because I think it just looks stunning. Purely for decor and also potentially if I wanna use it as a prop in the future and just because I wanna frame up one of those prints to put on the wall because it's really pretty. But thank you, Chloe, for the lovely gift. Okay, next one is actually a package from Buxom, which is super exciting for me because this is the first time that the Toronto Raptors have ever partnered with a cosmetics brand. I know it sounds weird, but if you think about it, about like 50% of the Toronto Raptors audience and fans are female, so might as well create a product that is gonna empower them to cheer on the team. And how cute is this? They created a little basketball court and they put the lipstick right in the center. I'm gonna show you what the lipstick looks like because it's a very vibrant, bright red that is perfectly on brand for the team. Its color, also appropriately named, is called Raptors Red Baller. <laughs> And it's supposed to be one of their plumping formulas that gives you like a nice little subtle buzz tingle feeling to plump your lips. I'm gonna actually apply it on and show you guys right now because, oh, this is cute. They have, I don't know if it's gonna show too well right now because of the lighting, but there is little red lips emblazoned on the edge of the bullet. I'm gonna apply this. Oh my God, guys, do not ever apply this on a camera that doesn't have a big screen to look at. Okay, I probably applied this so bad right now just because I have no mirror to look at, but I do actually really like this color. Ah, uh, I definitely screwed it up, guys. It's pretty, love it. I also love the packaging. Probably the cutest packaging I've seen by far. Very on brand, love it. I'm actually starting to feel like kind of tingle already right now. Okay, so keeping on theme with the Raptor situation, I don't know if you guys knew, um, if you're not from Toronto, but last year, McDonald's actually partnered with the Raptors so that every time, I think it was like they scored X amount of threes, we got to get free fries. Doing the same thing again this year and they sent over this fun little care package to kind of like spread the news. Um, essentially what happens is that when the Raptors score 12 or more three-pointers in a single game, either home or on the road, we can get a free medium fries through the McD's app with the purchase of $1 pre-tax. So that's really cool. I'm probably gonna order like a fry and get a second fry for free because why not? But they sent over this really cool championship patch because if you've been living on the rock and you had no idea, Raptors were the 20, 2018? Yeah, 2019 NBA championship. And I can put this on all of my Raptors gear now because Peter and I actually attended the very first game, um, game one of the final championship game. And it was so cool. In celebration of that, they sent over this cool little cute t-shirt. Ta-da! <laughs> and I am on a team, a Big Mac, if that was actually a player for the Raptors. I'm actually going to be going over to Mel and Dave's um, this Sunday to watch a Raptors game and they're hosting with McDonald's, so I'll probably be wearing this t-shirt to cheer on the team. And they also sent over a really fun water bottle because, you know, gotta stay hydrated when you're playing the games. Chances are I'll probably pour a little bit of wine into this, though, because this keeps it cool and, you know, I like my white wine cool. But thank you, McDonald's, for this package. Really neat. Next up is another hair care company. I've actually never heard of it before, but they asked to send through some products and I said, sure, I'd give it a try and see if I like it. It's from a company called Rain Cry, and I believe this is actually all products designed by a hairstylist, which is kind of cool because that means that, that they know how to work with hair. It's not just like a random company that's pretty product. So they sent through their smoothing shampoo, which is a nourishing shampoo for dry, coarse, and frizzy hair with restoring vitamin B5, amla extract, and jojoba oils. I never knew you could have vitamins in your shampoo. So this is smoothest silk. It helps create ultra smooth, casual soft hair. Let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. Ooh, I like that the bottle's a squishy one. This makes it really easy to get the products out at the very end. They didn't want to get products that are in like hard containers and it's really hard to take all the stuff out at the very bottom, so that's nice. Sent through the shampoo and I believe there's also a conditioner to match along with it. Oops. 
and it's a good size too the good thing about this is that if you're traveling which i do quite a bit guys once you're like down to about halfway of the bottle you can actually just like stack it really easily together and compress it tip for when you travel bring multiple bottles i personally don't like to squeeze out my bottles into like small travel size bottles just because we don't travel with only carry-ons we always check in anyways so i know that these are definitely over 100 milliliters this is 236 so usually the customs people will just pull you over anyways if you're over regardless of what the bottle says so because i'm going to be over anyways i just throw this into my check-in and because it's collapsible it saves space and then at the end of the trip if i finish it i just like chuck it out i also like that these plastic bottles that are usually a little bit lighter than heavy plastic ones that are hard shaped the soft plastics are much better so i'm going to give those a try they also included hair brush i actually do not have a border brush to be honest guys i don't brush my hair that much um, i actually finger brush it but i think i probably should be using a brush to brush out all the oils in my hair Ooh, this is actually pretty it's like a tortoiseshell one i won't lie guys i'm drawn to aesthetics and just because it's an aesthetic hair brush i might actually start using it but somebody told me the other day that board bristle brushes are good for distributing oil in your hair and i washed my hair like look how flat it is because there's so much oil in it right now last time i washed it was probably about like four days ago and i only really wash my hair like once every four days to like a week since board bristle brushes help to distribute the oils this might actually be good for me to use in between washing so i can distribute the oil across my hair i'm gonna give this a try if i do really like it you'll probably see this pop up on one of my um instagram empty stories eventually and i'll detail my thoughts on it just because although it's not an empty i do kind of want to give my thoughts once i've had the chance to use it quite a bit and let you guys know next up is a package from cake beauty i've tried some of their stuff before some of their shampoos are actually like really nice and i actually love their dry shampoos it works really well they also have these really cool dry shampoo sheets that you just kind of like rub into your hair which is nice when you're traveling because you don't have to carry an aerosol spray can i've been stopped at the border before and have my aerosols confiscated even though they're really small because apparently they don't like you bring them on the plane if you guys can get sheets great for traveling so this is a kit from some of their brand new body products which is actually really exciting because these are all shower things i love things that i can indulge myself with in the shower there's a heavy cream which is a triple duty shower cream i guess you wash yourself with it i used a nivea one before in the past it was like a shower oil you wash yourself down it acts like soap but then when you wash it off you have like a creamy leftover feeling which is always really nice this cleanses softens skins and protects when shaving Ooh, is this supposed to be a shaving cream i like it i'm gonna keep this for when i shave usually right now i just shave with soap because i'm basic but whenever i have things lying around that will work for shaving why not there is also a to die for shower wash i actually really like the smell some of the cake stuff it smells like cake if you guys love cupcakes and cake this is gonna do it for you it is so nice there is also whipped cream shower wash i've never tried a whipped cream shower wash before i'm assuming it's like a regular shower wash probably like shaving cream you just kind of like spray it onto yourself and then wash yourself off if i come out of the shower smell like a cake afterwards which probably is why this brand is called cake i'm not mad about that i like it when my house smells like cookie so if i can smell like a cookie I'm a sack. There is ooh, milk scrubs. Love a good scrub. I recently just started using the warm vanilla body chop one from their holiday collection. Love it. So much better than a loofah. You just like rub it on yourself. It cleanses you and you just like wash it right off and you don't need to wash a loofah, which is really nice. And because it was a sugar scrub, it just kind of like melts into the water. Excited to try this one. I believe this is also a sugar scrub as well. It's candied oat milk cream, which is seriously beautifying. Good way to kind of exfoliate your skin without overly exfoliating. And then afterwards, when I hop out of the shower, I put a lotion on afterwards to re-moisturize and hydrate my skin from all that exfoliation. So these are always nice to have on hand whenever you're in the shower. And I try to do it every time I shower, but not too often maybe like once or twice a week max and this is the cutest thing ever i'm not gonna lie if i tell you guys i actually have a yellow rubber ducky in the shower right now pretty freaking cute and it just chills there yeah that's me i'm a child i have a rubber duck in my bathtub <laughs> okay next thing i'm gonna open for you guys is this package from moroccan oil i went to an event recently with them and i think this is part of the products that we saw there yeah it is part of their brand new color mat if you guys remember i used a lot of the l'oreal I forget what they're called colorista hairsprays and hair paste it's like a washer shampoo and it kind of tints your hair this is kind of a similar type of thing i guess but it's from moroccan oil their stuff is actually really great they have an amazing dry shampoo which smells so good and it has such a good um oil absorbency to it it doesn't feel that it's like clunky in your hair like it's super light and also doesn't have a strong smell which is what i like as well i've used a couple of dry shampoos recently that have been like mm, not the best because they've been kind of stanky but moroccan oil has a great one so if you guys are ever looking for a dry shampoo reco i highly recommend theirs this is one of their color depositing masks i don't know if this is going to last for more than just like one usage just because the packages are so small but it's kind of cool because you can try a bunch of different colors and then after that pick which colors you want and buy i guess like the full tub of it i believe 
believe it comes as like a squeezy bottle similar to this rain cry one i've seen them before they're like slightly smaller and from there you can probably get more than one use out of it i probably won't be using this in the meantime actually it's temporary so i may have some fun with it on my ends if I want to. I'm currently in the process of trying to grow up my hair for the wedding, so I don't want to do anything that's going to potentially damage it color-wise. I'm kind of being really conservative with what colors I play with, but I have some younger cousins who really love dyeing their hair, and this is temporary stuff, so it's not going to damage your hair, and if you're bored, you can switch out a different color every single week. So I'm going to be giving actually this whole box as a gift set for the holidays, which is really nice. Won't lie, guys. I kind of want to steal this rose gold one and keep it for myself. Remember when I had pink hair? That was fun. I want to have pink hair again. Can I dye my hair pink again? No. Why? Don't do that. Why? It's cute though. I liked it. It was nice. What are the colors they have? Gold. There's a silver. Sorry, Peter just turned on basketball to play right now. So the screen is reflecting off my face and it's making me look really bright. There's a bright pink. If you guys have darker color hair, this may actually show off a little bit better. And there's this beautiful red color. Remember when I had red hair too last year? Wow, seems like a lifetime ago. And then there's this cocoa color. If you guys are light colored and you want to dye your hair a little bit darker brown. So those are all the colors. Oh, the one I showed you guys originally is blue, which is really cool. I also have blue hair at one point. I've essentially had hair every color of the spectrum so far. I think the only color I have not done my hair yet is probably green. And it's not really something I'm interested in, so you'll never really see me with green hair. But this is cool and a really great way to play around with temporary hair color. If you'd like to, Moroccan Oil is also a really well-known brand for hair care as well. So you know that these products are not going to damage your hair, which is always great when it comes to hair color because you don't want to do anything to wreck those beautiful locks. Okay, this next package I'm actually very excited for. I got this package while we were away in Copenhagen and Stockholm and I asked Rosa, who was here watching Kobe, to open it up for me because I was like, oh my god, I've never received a package from Tiffany & Co. before. Look how cute this little baby is. It came in this beautiful little, I guess, suitcase type of thing. And when you open it, she already showed me, so I kind of already know. I'm going to show you guys right now. Dun, da, da, da. I hope it's the right way. Ta -da! It's so adorable. Oops, I dropped something. There's this cute little Polaroid to make memories with. And there's a fragrance for him and her down below. And the little inscription in here says, Tiffany and love fragrances are inspired by the many ways to bring love of two people together. There's one for me. This one for you. Yay. I actually really like this note that they left us. I want to read it out for you guys. It's so sweet. It says, Tiffany Co. recognizes that there are many different types of love and many different ways to love. Remember, different love languages. We had this talk while we're on the trip. <laughs> It can be powerful and captivating, unique and intimate, big and bold or relaxing and nourishing. This is why we're so excited to share Tiffany and love with you. The new fragrance honors the many ways love brings people together and energy that creates sparking a feeling of happiness and optimism. I definitely agree with that. So these are the different notes that are in the fragrance. There's blue sequoia. I don't know what that is, which is kind of cool, but I guess that kind of comes off of ugh, the Tiffany and Co. color. I'm gonna actually go ahead and open the women's fragrance and I'm gonna leave the men's one for Peter. How do you open this? Oh my God. Oh, it was that easy. We just filled it down. Look at this bottle. It is so beautiful. I've never had a bottle look this beautiful. It's actually also so tiny, which I like because I don't like when perfume bottles are like overly packaged. Let's spray this. Ooh, the atomizer is nice. I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but it's like a super, super fine mist that just like diffuses. I like that. That's actually right up my alley. It is citrusy, but light. And there's like a slight sharpness to it. But it's a little bit floral too. I'm not somebody who likes like overly sweet scents. And this is like a light floral fragrant one. Definitely gonna be using that one. I'm gonna leave the men's one for Peter to open. So it's a nice little surprise for him. But this is the Tiffany and Love Women's Fragrance. So pretty. Thank you so much, Tiffany. I'm gonna be wearing this for the next week or so just to see how I like it. I can literally sit here sniffing my wrist forever, guys. Mm. Next package I'm showing you guys is actually really nice, and I'm really sad that I missed this because I got this package while we were away in Copenhagen and Stockholm, and it is a celebration of the Hudson's Bay and Olympic mittens. It's still kind of stuck. Sorry, guys. Do you guys know that the purchase of each of these mittens, there's a portion of the proceeds that go towards a great charity, and this is in collaboration with the Olympics because apparently we're going to Tokyo this year. Actually, I should we should book tickets to go to Tokyo for the Olympics. When are the Olympics? Uh, next year. Winter Olympics, right? So that's pretty soon. Maybe we won't go during the Olympics time because I feel like it's going to be super busy. So we're going to restructure this because I did really want to go to Japan sometime next year if we had the chance to. But I don't think I want to go during the Olympic times because it's going to be chaotic there. But it would have been cool to experience that in person, I think. Don't you? What? Don't you think it would be cool to experience the Olympics in person? That would be dope. 
Yeah. Oh well. So a portion of the proceeds from the purchase of all these mittens goes towards the Canadian Olympic Foundation. Wow. Mouthful, guys. Can't talk today. And since this launch, I believe in 2010, Canada has donated over like 32 million to Olympic athletes, which is great. A lot of them are amateur athletes and they don't really get paid to do the sports that they represent the country in. So this is nice to be able to support them on their journey to all of their Olympic dreams. Wish I was here during the 21st to post about this to help kind of like support the initiative. But if you guys are looking for cute new mittens, pick these ones up and help out your favorite Canadian athletes. We're gonna move on to some gift sets now because I got some really fun ones for the holidays. I may actually use some of these as gifts. And if you guys are looking for some gift ideas, these are some great ones. Laneige, you guys know all about them probably from their amazing lip balms. I've heard so many good things and then I got the chance to try them out for myself. And I love them too. They have these Dream Bubble collections that they just released just in time for the holidays, and they are essentially mini kits of some of their most beloved ones. This is the lip sleeping mask in the regular one. There's also a lip sleeping mask in mint choco and one in sweet candy. How cute is this? You get the full size of the regular product and then two little minis. I love this. You can just like leave this on your desk at home and throw one into your purse and I don't know, one in your gym bag to take along. Or if you want, you can give this to somebody. Take it apart, take one for yourself and give one to each of your two friends. Or use it as a stocking stuffer. Cute little gift idea. This is also part of their water bank collection. I used the, I think it's a dual phase oil. I'm not too sure if it's part of the water bank collection, but this is one of their best selling lines. I've heard so many good things about this. And if you guys are trying to get a hold of this, but you've never tried it before and you want to just like test out the products this is kind of like a good set to start out with you get the water sleep mask you get the moisture cream and you also get the i think this is the eye sleep mask yes this is the eye sleep mask essentially you put this on while you're sleeping at night and then you wake up with like a baby butt soft skin not a bad idea especially during the winter time when it's super cold outside cute stocking stuffer ideas love it love the brand so highly recommend next up is this really fun ula henriksen collection right here this is called the oh my glow and you actually get the full size truth serum along with with the, I believe, eye cream, moisturizer, and um, primer. Wow, Kobe's trying to eat everything of mine today. I love this brand. They have an amazing toner in the green collection. I forget what it's called, but at least my skin feeling all like tingly and smooth, like I sprayed eucalyptus all over it. And if you guys are trying to foray into vitamin C, I know it's a little bit daunting when it comes to playing with vitamin C, retinol, AHAs, BHAs, niacinamide. There's all like crazy ingredients that everybody talks about using all the time, but it's scary trying to figure out which ones to mix together because not all of them are compatible together and it really depends on your skincare and the routine you want to approach. So if you're trying to pour into vitamin C, this is a good step to kind of start with because it's all formulated to work together to balance out your skin so you're not using it too much. Great holiday gift set. Another one that they sent through, I have actually never used this one before. This is called the As Smooth As Possible Age Fighting Set. I kind of need that because I'm getting older now. And this is the Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum. I actually heard a lot about the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. One of my friends have been using this recently. They said it's been working really well for them. So if you're trying to foray into the retinol world, this is a set that you probably want to look into. If you want vitamin C, there's this. But I've already tried this set. I love it. I mean, I actually try to probably give this one a go. If you guys have been watching my Instagram stories, I've slowly started integrating retinol into my skincare routine. And so far, it has not given me any sort of irritations. I am currently using the Glow Recipe Avocado Sleep Mask for my eyes and the face moisturizer, and I don't get any redness. I have watched some other YouTubers say that they've received redness whenever they use retinol that's too strong for them. So that's why I've been taking it super slow. I think it's like 0.3%. And I think this year I'm gonna slowly gravitate up towards like 1% just to slowly adjust my skin to it. And eventually I'll be able to get a higher and higher concentrate every time I'm using, as I'm using it. But if you are like me and you're hesitant to use retinol, then pick up this set because it's formulated to use together so that you're not over processing your skin with retinol. But cute set, great stocking stuffer or even just like a regular gift idea. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys before I kind of pop off today because I feel like there's been so much shown already and I don't want to open more. Kobe's looking ridiculous over here because I have like a little mountain of stuff that I just put to the side and he's like peeking through it just right now trying to stare at me. L'Oreal Luxe Box. This is when all the L'Oreal Luxe brands sends over all the products that they're trying to focus on this month and I have a nice little assortment here that I want to show you guys. I'm gonna start off with some of my favorite ones. Shoe Yumora guys. This is a universal balm hair and skin camellia oil. You guys know how much I love this Shoe Yumora cleansing oil. Kobe, what are you doing? Why? Always tries to squeeze in wherever he can fit himself. So this is supposed to be Camellia Oil. I've actually never used this one before. So I essentially just read the back of this one and it's kind of like a balm that you use all over your body and your hair and it's supposed to restore moisture and hydration to your skin and your hair during, I guess, the cold winter months or any time of the year whenever you want to use this. I've actually never used something like this before so I'm curious how it's going to work. 
Um, because it's oil, I'm slightly hesitant of using it on my hands during the daytime just because I don't want my hands to be oily all day long while I'm doing work. But I'm more than happy to try this on my hair during the day and then put this on my body at nighttime when I sleep. Hopefully, it will prevent my skin from getting cracked and ashy during the winter time. But this is kind of neat. Never tried it before. So from Biotherm is their Life Plankton Elixir. I've actually used some of the products before. I've used this is what the bottle looks like. I'm not going to take it out because it's all packaged up right now. That's going to take forever for me to unpackage and repackage together. I've used their moisturizer before. Their Life Plankton line is so nourishing. Ultra, ultra moisturizing. So it's not one I really recommend doing to use during the summertime just because I find that kind of breaks me out a little bit. But I actually gravitate towards this one a little bit more during the fall and spring times when it's still kind of cold outside but it's not too hot that you're sweating a lot. Whereas in the winter, I need something a little bit thicker. But this is a great one if you guys are ever looking for like something that's a little bit more nourishing. Kerastase sent through scrubs. I guess this is for hair maybe. I've never used a Kerastase scrub before. Soothing scrub cleanser with sweet orange peel for all types of hair and scalp, even sensitive. And then this one is intensely purifying scrub cleanser with sea salt, oily prone scalp. I'm oily prone, so I'm probably gonna use this one, but I'll probably also give this one a try because it's for all types of scalps. I've actually never used a scalp before. I guess it's like exfoliating your scalp, which makes sense because you exfoliate the skin on your face, so why not? So this will be neat to kind of test out in the shower. I'm gonna put this in the bathroom afterwards along with the body shop scrub that I recently started using. Ha! Ah, Kiel sent over something for Peter. So this is called Facial Fuel. It's the daily energizing moisturizer for men and it also has SPF 20 in it. I recently told Peter that he needs to start using sunscreen because he has a very fair skin and his skin is actually fairly thin as well and I wanted to warn him that like if he doesn't wear sunscreen eventually he's gonna start to see sunspots as he gets older we don't want no sunspots we want SPF protection so this is gonna be up next in his regimen for skincare routine when he replaces his current moisturizer because it has SPF 20 in it and you need the sunscreen protection gotcha, boss. <laughs> see he listens I'm happy with that also from Kiehl's is another SPF um, this is the multi action cream with SPF 30 so I don't think this one necessarily geared for men, but anybody can really use lotions. It's not like it's a specific gender. Oh, it smells nice. The big thing about moisturizers I find when it has SPF in it is that it has that like weird sunscreen smell and I don't smell this one. This one just has like a really nice light floral scent. So I may rotate this one into my routine next. I'm currently using just a regular moisturizer and putting sunscreen on my face afterwards. But on days when I don't want to wear sunscreen, just a moisturizer, I might just throw this on. If I'm at home all day, just sitting in front of my computer doing work, I don't really need to have a full face of sunscreen because I don't really see a lot of light. Sad but true. So moisturizer like this is probably perfectly fine if I do go outside and run a quick errand, walk the dog, pick up some packages or do groceries. Whereas if I'm going out quite a bit for a full day, then that's probably when I'm going to be putting sunscreen on my face. So this will be going next to my rotation for moisturizers once I finish my current one which actually is um, almost done. So we'll try this next. They also included two Armani um, Beauty Lip Maestros, which is like a really intense color lip gloss. There's these really nice shades, actually perfectly suited for the holidays. There's this like nice My Lips Are Better color and this beautiful red. I do really like this color, so I'm gonna swatch it on my hand and show you guys what it looks like. This is the My Lips Are Better color. This is usually the color that I gravitate towards whenever I apply lip products on my skin. Woo! Check out that pigment. It went on like so smooth and with one swipe. And it doesn't feel sticky, which I like. I do not like a sticky residue when it comes to my lip products, so this is nice. It's really smooth. Color payoff is beautiful. I'm gonna probably use this color for the holidays because I like to keep it neutral. Oh, this is nice. They also included the Kerastase Nutritive 8-Hour Magic Night Serum. So this, well, I'm actually gonna put this together with the other Kerastase package that I received and give this to somebody. This is actually for you to put into your hair overnight to restore all the moisture which is good for winter time. Like I said, everything that I'm getting right now is very winter centric and I love it because I am a dry bee during the winter time and I can take all the water and moisture that I can get. There's also the YSL All Hour Setting Powder. I constantly run out of setting powder because I like my face to look super matte. I'm not like a dewy type of person. Ooh, this packaging is nice. And setting powder looks just like this. I'm currently using um, one of the, I believe it's Givenchy Beauty ones. So I will be rotating no, the Guerlain. The Guerlain Meteorite Compact Powder. So this will be on rotation next once I finish up that one. I also currently have the Stila, it's like a pump powder. That one, it looks like it's almost finished because not a lot of products coming out anymore. So that's going to also be 
coming up soon in my empties, so keep an eye out for that one. Only a couple things left from this L'Oreal Luxe box. This is a palette from Urban Decay called Party Favor. I actually really like how thin this is. Wow. And I believe these are all eyeshadows. Also, the compact is really pretty. There's like glitter on it. And I think these are supposed to be used as like color dimension. It's so beautiful. Definitely will be using this for the holidays. I also like this because a lot of the time the glitter eyeshadows that you get in palettes are only like one or two shades or you have to buy them in singular pots and then you end up traveling around with like four or five separate pots in your makeup bag. I just have one tiny palette. They also included a Lancome Hypnose palette. This is actually really pretty. It has all blue eyeshadow. I did say that I owe you guys an all blue eyeshadow look so this palette is probably gonna show up on that one don't worry i will not use the white or the gold i'm gonna do everything blue i still need to find a blue lipstick i think i have one from before from a previous one so i'll look for that one but that'll be a fun makeup look to try out i've never really used blue eyeshadow since middle school do you guys remember back when we did like blue eyeshadow from our lids all the way up to our eyebrows man that was a look it's been a while and i'm kind of scared to attempt it because i feel like it's gonna look like that again but we'll see second last thing is the lancome hypnose mascara i think this is all black i've heard really great things about this one Unfortunately, this is not a waterproof formula, so I won't be able to use it. But I do actually really like the Lancome Mr. Big Mascara and Waterproof. Wow, that one is bomb.com. I think I've gone through about four or five tubes of it. I've fully finished it by now, but it is amazing and I love it. It really coats your lashes, elongates, spreads, and volumizes them at the same time waterproof. So you're not getting panda eyes smudged all over the bottom of your, your eyelid. I actually really need to pick up another one because I ran out of it. I'm currently using another waterproof mascara that's not really doing the trick for me at the moment. It's like really smudging and giving me panda eyes. Not cute. Last thing they included is from It Cosmetics. This is a Bye Bye Pores Leave On Solution Porifying Toner. I've never tried this toner from It Cosmetics before, but they do a really good job of kind of like sealing your pores so that you don't look like you have little craters all over your face. So I'm curious to try this one. I'm only halfway through my Body Shop Tea Tree Toner right now, so it's gonna be a couple more months before I'm done that one. But once I finish that one, this is next on my toner list because I don't really have any other toners sitting in my stash right now lined up to be used next. Whereas like face washes, I have like 20 waiting for me to try. So this is next and you'll probably see it in an IG empty stories within the next couple months coming soon to you guys. So that's essentially it for all my PR unpackaging, unboxings, whatever you guys wanna call that. I hope you enjoyed watching that in this vlog. Um, I didn't do anything too overly crazy or exciting in this vlog, which is why I want to include it because I have a bunch of stuff I need to unpack. There's still a ton more sitting behind the table over here that I need to unbox at some point eventually. I might do a second pair unboxing before the end of the season to show you guys some other stuff, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are also currently enjoying all the vlogs that I've been putting up and if you've been enjoying this format a little bit more than last year's, where some are in the day, like at the moment vlogging versus some other ones are like pre-filmed ones to kind of give you guys also holiday content that's not necessarily just an everyday vlog. I hope you guys like this vlog today. If you do, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I would love if you guys also check out my Instagram. I'm following me on Twitter right here. I post some sassy, petty things on Twitter sometimes. But otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's. Bye! If you guys didn't notice, this is Kobe up here. He's just chilling, watching me as I'm filming this vlog. Can I have a kiss? Thanks, buddy. Love you! Oh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my Christmas tree. If you haven't watched the one where I decorated and put up my first ever tree, make sure to watch that video now.